now watching Fell's Best Channel. Good day, everyone, especially to teachers who are listening now. In this video, I'm going to show you steps, the strategies, and guidelines on the making of an effective lesson planning and will show an effective teaching and learning. Just stay there. Now, first question, how to plan a lesson? What am I teaching? How will I teach it? How will I know if the learners understand? What are the steps of planning a lesson? In planning a lesson, there must be a pre-planning, then during planning, and the post-planning. What should be considered during in-planning? In planning, we must consider the following. Number one, setting the objective. It is what you should have to accomplish at the end of the lesson. It should be smart s as, as specific m measurable r a achievable r realistic t time bounded in planning a lesson a teacher should read the curriculum Read the syllabus and read the teacher's guide. And at the same time, the teachers need the textbooks, the visual aids, and the resources. Number two, the aims of the lesson. It is what you will try to get the learners to do during the lesson. Number three, are the target competencies competencies that interact interpret and produce number four the domain through oral written and both number five the target structures the grammar points pronunciation and lexis number six is the timing the time devoted to each step and number seven the materials which includes pictures videos board slates flashcards worksheets and data show number eight are the frameworks these include listening reading speaking grammar grammar pronunciation brainstorming drafting reviewing editing publishing which is used for writing lessons number nine is the cross curricular competencies this will base on intellectual methodological communicative personal and social competencies Number 10, the core values on the national identity, national conscience, citizenship, and openness to the world. Now, I'm asking you, what have you learned today? Here's my last thought for you as teacher. Being an effective class manager is not a talent which some people just have and others don't have it is a set of skills and attitude learned through patience and practice until next time hope that you have learned a lot in this video thank you for watching and listening bye